next material I'm going to show you how to use is a pen. It's really simple. I'm going to show you a really simple crosshatch technique, which is very effective. I'm going to just draw a little circle with my pencil, just because it's a bit scary drawing in pen for the first time, if you've never done it before. So just draw a little circle uh, on your paper. You can draw around something if you don't want to do anything, um, you know, freehand. I'm just going to put a little uh, bottom on it and a little top on it, and it's going to be little triangular sort of shapes coming out from the top. So like a little crown almost on the top of the uh, the fruit. So we're just going to leave it like that for now. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit onto what I'm doing, so you can just see really clearly my marks that I'm going to make. So you should be able to see that nice and clearly now. So I've drawn that little shape circle with um, these crown and the little uh, bottom bit at the, the, the base. And then I'm going to use a technique called cross hatching. What cross hatching is, is it's lots of lines crossing over each other. So I'm going to roughly follow the shape of this pomegranate round. Now that might be, again, a scary thing to do. So what I would recommend is you just give yourself a little bit of help with a pencil mark. So the pencil mark is going to be a rounded pencil mark. It's going to follow the round curve of the shape. So I'm going to do some round curves of the shape like this. And remember, when you have a curve, nothing is pointy on a curve. Everything curves round straight round the outside. There's no end to the curve. It just keeps going. So when I put, do my little pencil guidelines, nothing stops. Nothing stops into a point, it always carries on around, a bit like a smiley face. It kind of carries around. But these little pencil lines just give me some help with creating this crosshatch effect. So I'm going to start up here, I'm just going to start drawing in. I've got a little fibre tip pen, it's a waterproof pen, so it's something that you can um, put water on if you wish to. And I'm just going to do lots of little lines crossing over themselves like this and following roughly my shape that I've got here. I'm not going to do it on everything, I'm just going to leave the odd little bit and all I'm doing is tracing this shape with my pen and just see I'm just doing the curves of the shape like that. As I get further up to the top, sometimes I find it easier to start lower down, as I get round to the top I'm going to be able to see more of that curve because it going, it's going round so you can see I'm just taking my pencil around the back here, my pen around the back here just to create that kind of curvedness. So I'm going to keep coming down here and adding in more lines, but keep those curves going. So if you're finding that you're forgetting where your curves are, just draw a few more pencil lines in, just to give you a guide to help you create the curves. So I'm going to just carry on around here. So it's a really effective way of using a pen because it's super simple. Anyone can do it. And, you know, you might not find you get the best results the first time because you maybe haven't done it before. But, you know, you have to keep practicing. That's the main thing. So get a practice uh, with it and you'll get great at it. So you see, I'm just cut, I'm just following the curve round. I'm going to just draw a little bit of a line in here. Give me a bit of a shape. And there's no wrong mark with a pen. You can really incorporate pen marks into anything you know you can make if you if you sort of think oh I made a mistake there you can always do something on the top of it and create it into what you want it to look like just coming around the edge here just carrying on round and oh look I'm at the bottom so I'm just going to keep this curve going make it a little bit stronger around the edge and the wonderful thing about videos is you can stop them at any time and watch them again. So if you're finding that this is a bit fast, just pause it, go back. Okay, so I'm creating a really nice curve with this. I'm going around the edge here as well, just coming around the top. And each line I do, I just sort of incorporate it into the next one. Okay, and then I'm going to use a different line this time. To kind of come up from the bottom and curve it round to the top. So this is where the cross hatch comes in. The cross curves round both ways. Okay, so it's crossing over from one way into the next. 
So have a little play. The ones at the front, the ones that you're directly looking at, will be straight because you can't see the curve when you're looking directly at something uh, on that plane. So you need to just make sure that that looks straight. Okay, so let's um, radiate out from the top here. So we've got lines coming from everywhere. And then let's just finish off our little crown with um, a few little marks. So inside the crown will be darker and outside will be lighter. So let's just draw those in. Perhaps we'd have one the other side as well that we can see. So it sort of finishes it off on the other side. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of cross hatching very close together on this one to make it feel like there's an inside to it. You can carry on your little marks up into this bit as well to make it feel like it's part of it. And let's just do a little bit down the bottom here. Okay, so we'll make that a little bit shadowier there. Okay, so very simple, very easy technique once you get going with it. So have a try with it and let me know how you get on. Pop your uh, work into the Facebook Art Club uh, create Facebook Art Club on uh, Facebook, find us on there. If you're already on it, then pop your work in. We'd love to see what you do.